In this video we're going to have a quick look at an example of using the radio functionality on the micro bit. So you can see if I show you on the corner, on the top edge of the micro bit, if I just show it the wave in the light, you can see there's a little antenna on the top left there, and that transmits a radio signal from one micro bit to others. So we're just going to have a look through the code and then show you what it does and then we'll see what that looks like on the micro bit. So in the JavaScript blocks editor, I've created a on shake um, input, and then I'm going to clear the screen, send the string duck over radio, and then using the same code on the same micro bits, if I receive a string, any string, show the duck icon. So let's just try that in the simulator. If I play the code, and press shake, it initiates the radio, and let's try that again. And we transport our duck. And back, and again, back again. So that's how it's working in the simulator. Let's just look at how that code looks in the Python editor. So from the microbit library, we import everything. That's what the asterisk means there and we also import radio and then we are switching radio on and we can also turn radio off so if you're using battery you can conserve battery if you're not using the radio function and then we initiate a uh, loop so we're saying whilst uh, this is true which it will always be um, message equals radio receive so we set the variable message to radio receive uh, if that message uh, if message is received, display the image of the duck. Um, and then if the micro bit is shaken, if it was shaken, um, clear the display and then send the word duck over radio. So the radio is just looking for any message and we're sending the signal duck when the micro bit is shaken. So now if I just try that on the micro bit, if I shake, it sends the duck and then shake again and there we have our teleporting duck in MicroPython.